video is a pretty big topic in the automotive field. It's conventional oil versus synthetic oil. Now, conventional oil is the lowest of the low. It's the cheapest. But you get what you pay for. Cheap is cheap. Um, faster breakdown times. Um, lower detergents and additives. But conventional only really lasts 3,000 miles. Don't exceed that. Don't go past that. Or it's going to really take a toll on your motor. And what really happens is it sludges up and it gets too thick and it'll start to have performance issues in your motor. Now, in 150, no, 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 3,000 miles, 90 days, that's it. Put it in there any longer. Now, now synthetic is made with more additives, detergents. Um, it's overall a way better oil. It's processed as opposed to conventional when it's just coming from crude oil. Basically, that's all you really get. You can get anything else besides that. Conventional oil is thicker too, yes, okay with that. But synthetic is just made to last longer. Synthetic can last up to 7,000 miles or 10,000 miles, depending on what brand you get. I only put Valvoline in my cars because that's the only brand that I trust. But synthetic is 7,000 miles, 210 days. And um, it will last you a long time. It's more expensive, yes. It's more on the pricier side. But you get what you pay for. And me, I only put synthetic in my cars because mine's a higher performance motor. It takes synthetic blend, but I don't trust synthetic blend. But I'll get to that in a little bit. Conventional versus synthetic. What is in it? Conventional is basically just crude oil. It's not really processed. Synthetic is crude oil, processed, processed, additives, detergents. Perfect. Most engines nowadays above 2012 take only synthetic blend or full synthetic you can put conventional in it but you have to stay on top of it a lot of times they don't really like conventional oil. you have to put the right stuff in it uh, what can happen now conventional over time it can't really take heat as good as synthetic Usually it breaks down faster when the motor gets hot and you start beating on it and it'll just it'll break down, it'll sludge up. It's not really made for heat. Synthetic is. And uh, now you put you can put conventional in anything, yes. You can put synthetic in anything, yes. But the brand that I would choose would be more on the lines of synthetic. It just protects your engine parts way better assemblies, your valves, your pistons, your rods, everything protects them perfectly. Conventional, you can lubricate them and it'll stop that friction from happening. But, I mean, it's just cheap oil. Now, if you got a beater and you don't want to put full, full synthetic oil in it, it's a leaker, it's only to get you to and fro, that's perfectly fine. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I do the same thing. But if you have a car that is worth some money, it's good to put money into it. Just basic oil changes on time. I do full synthetic oil changes every 4,000 to 3,500 miles. Now, it can last up to 7,000, but it's just it's just how I take care of my cars. I don't, go, I don't let it get above 4,000 miles for oil change because I don't like to let it break down. Um, but yeah, they usually go by miles, 3,000 for a conventional. 7,000 for synthetic time 90 days three months usually five five months I would trust for a full synthetic now there's another brand of oil out there which is called synthetic blend synthetic blend is a mixture of synthetic and conventional oil that can last up to 5,000 miles 150 days a lot of manufacturers have been putting that in their cars, but now they're starting to switch over to full synthetic and different oil grades. But synthetic blend is literally a mix of the two. Uh, it's an in-between price, and uh, it's not too bad. It has the benefits, some benefits of synthetic, but it's still conventional. It's still mixed with just 
basic conventional oil. And um, you could make your own synthetic blend by taking a quart of full synthetic and then four quarts of conventional oil, basically what it is. But um, that's the whole basic basis on what conventional and synthetic is. Synthetics just made with more additives, more detergents to clean, protect, and stay alive during the heat and the high revolutions and when you're beating on it. Conventional is not really made for that. Conventional is just a basic cheap oil. Um, not processed, not add, no additives, no detergents. Can't really take heat. Uh, time will actually break that down a little bit faster. It's just synthetic is made for overall performance and reliability. Conventional is made for just strictly 3,000 miles or 90 days. And uh, synthetic blend, you can beat it a little bit, but um, I don't really trust synthetic blend. Um, 5,000 miles for synthetic blend or 150 days. But it's your choice. You can put whatever you want to your car. Uh, what you put in is what your car will give back. Mine requires synthetic blend. I only put full synthetic in it because 